Hi, right, well, I'm following along with Paul McWhorter's Raspberry Pi Pico W lessons. Uh, uh, we had a homework on timers, and uh, I had a code that ended up crashing after about 20 minutes. And uh, I really wanted to find out whether it was uh, uh, memory leakage or whether it was uh, uh, functions getting called and uh, it two functions getting called at the same time using the timer interrupt thing. And uh, um, I found out that it, I, I needed to uh, find out if it was using up the memory. So that was the easy way to go. I have no idea how to check for crashes, but I found out it wasn't using up the memory. So it was definitely a crash thing. But anyhow, um, I Found figured a way around how to fix it, and I put a pin post down here to re telling how I was able to fix it so it didn't crash and everything's great now. But I thought I'd make a short video on how I didn't know how to find out how much memory uh, uh, was being used by the Pico W during the program. Um, so I actually went to a uh, search and found a forum post from 2017 where they talk about uh, how you can do this. This fellow was asking, somebody gave the answer right away. So I copied and pasted this code and I made a few changes to the code, but otherwise it's their code. And uh, so um, I figured I'd share it with you guys in case we want to do it. Now they're doing two different things. They're doing the uh, file system where you can get the file system uh, that's where we're storing our programs and everything and uh, that's where you know you can get that um, and if you need to have it in your code somewhere where it prints it out every once in a while or something you know you can use it there but this same result is available by doing uh, uh, go to your raspberry pi pico to this drop down box and do storage space the last item in the list and it'll tell you that the total space is 848 and the free space is uh, 556. I had run this program before I started the video, but it's the same, you get the same results right now probably. But uh, you can see it says disk space, uh, there's 556 free out of 848. Uh, the only thing that surprised me on this was that uh, I, I had, I know the Pico has a two megabyte uh, flash chip on it and that I understand that uh, uh, MicroPython only uses up about 600 kilobytes so the, it should have had like 1.3 1.4 uh, megabytes left but we only got 848 um, no idea why there's such a big difference there but anyhow um that so this is available and I'm not going to explain too much about how this works. You can look at it, but uh, uh, that's a it, if if you needed to do it in the program, that's the couple lines of code you need. But this is the part that I was interested in is the uh, RAM memory, how much RAM memory you were using while the program was running. Now this is just a short program, but you can call this, and that's what I did. I pasted this. Uh, function into my uh, code and every time the red LED bl came on, I uh, uh, ran this code and printed out how much memory it was using. And uh, um, it was interesting to see that I wasn't using, uh, like I say, we're starting like three timers in that code and the first time through, it did use a little bit less and then uh, the next time it was a little bit more and then but then it steadied out after about three blinks on it so i guess all the timers were running by that point and that's what the uh, ram it was using and it just stayed rock steady until <laughs> until the program failed 20 minutes later again so uh um this is the one that i very interested in and like i said um, you're just using the garbage collection. It seems a strange fun, uh, library to have, uh, figure out where your free memory is, but it's under the garbage GC thing. And uh, so we're just starting off by doing a GC collect um, uh, 
free up any memory that we can uh, free up. And then it's you got these things that's free, and this is the total. So, or not the total, the allocated, how much is used and how much is free. You add them together and you get the total. And uh, this just uh, uh, formatted to get a percentage. And then you're just printing out, you know, your your F, your free memory, which is uh, uh, free memory out of total memory. And this is percentage. That's all there was to it. And uh, like I said, you run and you just... This fun this second function here, you just get out uh, the uh, total memory, you know, used. And like I say, you can call this anytime during your code, you know. You don't want to call it too often, but uh, um, with the blinking, it, you know, about one, every one second, it would show up and it would do it. So anyhow, I just wanted to share this with you, and I'll probably post this. Uh, link to this and I'll put it in my GitHub and put a link to it in the description of the code. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.